Okay, so here we have the water cube. Uh, we can pan around and show what we've got. We've got people in the queue being interviewed. We've got people lined up for uh, four interviews. Uh, we've got uh, the queen of the queue, Lovisa, uh, actually uh, uploading and editing material. And we've got uh, Beth over here actually learning how to do uh, uploading and editing of the material because he, she's just joined us today. And um, we're going to have a quick walk around the cube and see what it looks like. The, the cube uh, is actually very austere. Uh, this side of the cube is completely white. No signs, no logos, no nothing. And if we come over to this side, we have the actual water cube logo. Uh, it can be seen up here. Uh, and people walk around and they say, what is going on here? What is the thing? You know, and they come up and ask us, you know, what's going on here? And then when they learn what it is, they go, oh, can I come into the cube? Can I have it be interviewed as well? And of course, that's what it's all about. And, and in here, we can see one of the major partners in this effort, uh, IRC, this is Nick Dickinson. He's doing an interview. And it's all done with these small handheld cameras. They're no bigger than a mobile phone. And it's all really simple. And we call it shit video. You know, the quality of the video isn't very good but it's exactly what it needs to be. So uh, that's the water cube at the Stockholm World Water Week. Um, and it's a huge success for so far. We've had comments all the way from Turkey saying, you know, we wish we'd had this at the World Water Forum last year. Uh, and that was from the Secretariat of the World Water Forum. And I'm Thomas Bjelkman-Peterson from aqua.org.